hopefully this video won't piss everybody off again. Are you ready for a quickie on a revolutionary sequel to an equally revolutionary game? A game with stunning new controls A beautiful and developed world, and a deep, involving here. story Assassin. that's never been seen Sound on the face yourself. of the earth? And can you handle the pure awesome of the hero? I make this sacrifice for the greater good. Requiescat in pace. Yeah, I don't regret the cheap gag because this game is awesome. Now you're either thinking I've completely lost my mind or are laughing at me because you know exactly what Katamari Damacy is. I'll give a brief history and explanation of Katamari for those who don't know. Katamari Damashi, meaning clump spirit in Japanese, is an action puzzle fucked up game that was originally developed for the PlayStation 2. It became an instant hit. There was a successful sequel, a sequel to that sequel, and a sequel to that sequel that didn't do that well for the Xbox, and then this new high definition edition of the PlayStation 3. While most games these days are driven forward by story and gameplay, this was based around novelty, easy to understand controls, and completely screwed up humor. The story is that there's a king of all Cosmos. Who controls space? Now, he goes on a drunken rampage and destroys all the cosmic bodies, so you, the prince of all cosmos, have to roll crap up into a ball to make new stars. However, you can only roll up stuff that's smaller or equal to the size of your ball of crap, or your katamari. The premise sounds stupid. And it is, but the game knows that is completely stupid and reflects that in the story and really stylized graphics. You know, most people I've run into thinks this is retarded, but uh, I find that if they give the game a chance, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it turns from, you know, oh cool, I'm picking up paper clips and thumbtacks to, ooh, can I roll up that cow to, awesome, I'm almost large enough to roll up Africa. It's simple and addicting. The specific Katamari game I'm going to talk about here is Katamari Forever for the PS3. I'm recommending this one to everybody because it has some of the best old levels from previous Katamari games, plus brand new levels. So when you're sick of rolling up balls of junk, you can roll up a sumo wrestler to make him really really fat, or make a ball of flowers or fireflies. Whatever the king commands. That's the interesting thing about this game. The King of All Cosmos has hit his head on an asteroid and fell into an amnesiac coma. So the Prince and all of his cousins have decided to make a Robot King to do the regular King's job, but the Robot King just ends up going crazy and destroying the cosmos so you have to roll it back up again. You can also go into the King of All Cosmos' memory and hence replay older levels. You can find your cousins in all the levels too, so you can play as them when you find them and you can find little neat things to wear. You know, just for more replay value. I'm such a sucker for game unlockables, so this was pretty cool on top of the already unique objectives of every single level. Two things that I have to mention about this game is that, wow, there's a lot of replay value. And I really mean that. No, really. You always want to one-up yourself, or in some cases, one-up other people. It never gets boring because you find new ways and things to roll up, and different styles, and ways to make your Katamari bigger. And also, anyone who's ever played the game will tell you that the music is amazing, and I can completely back this up. See, the composers were particularly diabolical in that they wanted a tune that would get stuck in your head easily, like the theme song to Mario or Zelda. So, they made one. Na -na. Na 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 na
ことなんだよな。And they used it in every single game. And now in Katamari Forever is a remix. Previous Katamari games have also had other favorite not theme song songs that's been repeated throughout the whole series and have been brought back in Katamari Forever. All the music, whether it be old stuff or remixed old stuff, is extremely catchy. I know a lot of people who walk around with it on their iPods just because they always find one song that they really like, and that's because it's all in different styles. Katamari could probably make games into forever, and nobody will ever get sick of them. Hell, this is Katamari Forever, and this could be a testament to a stupidly fun and funnily stupid game. With its music and graphics and weird ass storyline and insanely addictive gameplay, and. I actually give this a 10 out of 10. And don't worry, I'll do a real Assassin's Creed 2 quickie sometime soon. Thanks for watching.